Hey guys, it's Julio from the Lawn Care Business Success Podcast, and today I want to share a few tips about mowing lawns in the rain, specifically with a 21-inch push mower. Now, I'm from uh, an area of the world, uh, the Pacific Northwest, uh, where we constantly get rain here uh, throughout the season, and I uh, have no choice but to mow uh, in the rain, um, as it can go weeks on end uh, with rain uh, constantly throughout the day, each and every day. Uh, so what I've learned uh, with uh, mowing uh, lawns uh, through these types of conditions day in and day out is that airflow uh, is what you want to concentrate on uh, when mowing lawns in the rain. So what I mean by this is keeping the underside of your lawn mower's deck uh, clean um, at all times if possible uh, will allow uh, grass to enter the bag more efficiently. The other thing that can uh, help prevent uh, having good airflow is having a dirty bag on uh, you know for your grass collection system so we've all seen uh, when you pull off a grass bag sometimes you'll have a bunch of caked on dry uh, you know old grass and dirt on the inside of the bag and what you want to do is uh, constantly try to keep that clean uh, either uh, wash it out um, using a garden hose uh, maybe gently scrape it uh, with a you know, soft uh, sort of uh, rounded uh, scraper like a grass buster uh, and uh, scrape that off to uh, increase the amount of uh, airflow that can go through the pores uh, on that bag. Just mowing in the rain in wet conditions will start to clog up the bag uh, just from the actual water itself, clogging up uh, the fine air pores uh, that are in uh, the fabric of the bag and will reduce that airflow. So having any additional sort of, you know, crusted on uh, dirt or grass that's dried on the inside of the bag uh, can really, uh, you know, start to slow down the efficiency of how well uh, your lawnmower can work in those tough conditions. So keeping that bag clean is imperative. So when I'm mowing a lawn, not only do I make sure that that inside of that bag is clean, uh, but like I said, I make sure that the bottom of the deck is clean. And you know what I found uh, mowing, uh, you know, your average city type lots is that if I start out with a clean underside uh, deck, I can usually get through the entire front yard um, without uh, having to stop because of a clogged deck. Uh, and then I will turn off the mower. Um, turn the mower on its side and clean out uh, that deck before moving the mower uh, to the backyard. Now I do this because no matter how clean and how much airflow you get uh, going uh, from that bag, just uh, you know the uh, you know cause of those conditions of wet grass, you will have grass starting to stick and build up to the bottom of the deck. And once you start uh, pushing that mower to another part of the house and going over sidewalks and driveways, those clumps will start to fall and leave a larger mess uh, for you to clean up after. So by cleaning that deck before moving from different areas, uh, that can uh, you know eliminate all of that uh, extra cleanup time required at the end. Also, the more often that you clean the deck uh, underneath, uh, the quicker it becomes. And uh, because you're only taking off a little bit and it hasn't had a chance to sort of set and dry and uh, cake on there, um, you know, with just some regular gloves, uh, it's just a quick swipe of your hand and the bottom of that deck is clean. So it doesn't take that much time at all. Now, if you find yourself with a really large lawn um, where you can't get the entire thing done and that you know inevitable amount of grass that starts to build up underside uh, the bottom of the deck and you start to experience uh, some clogging and you may start to hear the motor of the uh, lawnmower starting to bog down, you want to sort of plan out uh, the way uh, and direction that you're mowing to try to end in an inconspicuous area. And uh, you want to keep the blades engaged on your lawnmower deck to help prevent some of those clumps from falling. Uh, so what I do is I just hold uh, the mower blades engaged so that they're constantly spinning. That way, if any of uh, the grass is falling, um, they're you know more easily uh, sort of caught by those blades, uh, broken up, and also maybe pushed back up into the deck um, and I'll find an inconspicuous area of the yard uh, where I can take that lawnmower and then when I let go of the uh 
lawnmower blades or the uh, in, you know blade engagement lever and the blades stop spinning um, and you get you know that inevitable uh, big drop of all those grass clippings you're not in a prime location uh, in the middle of the lawn or in the nicest manicured part of the lawn you're sort of in a back hidden area uh, of the lawn uh, and you can uh, then more easily clean that up uh, and uh, you know hit it with a blower after uh, to disperse any sort of uh, little bits of grass and stuff that are left behind from you cleaning the deck. So those are some of the tips that I've learned over the past 13 years of mowing lawns uh, on a frequent basis in the rain and they've worked out great for me and sort of become uh, you know part of my daily routine. So I hope uh, those tips help you out if you ever uh, think about uh, trying mowing lawns in the rain.